Most people in America are familiar with the fact that there's many types of religions in America. Almost all are based on a concept of a deity that is usually considered a father god or a mother god. In my realm of paganism, I define them as Heavenly Father and Divine Mother. I also am very much aware of the fact that we have a deity called Jesus Christ, and in other worlds, they have different names. We also have a Holy Ghost and a Holy Spirit, and that is something that we are talking about all the time in the concept of the Triagathon, or the Trinity. If you're not familiar with these concepts, I encourage you to visit a Catholic Church or Lutheran Church, and they can kind of express that to you. At the same time, Quakers know quite what to do with the Holy Spirit sometimes. What we're talking about today is, though, how can you encourage your own faith practices when you're not sure what to say? There is always someone who wants to monstrously ruin someone's technology today and always someone who wants to ruin someone's faith practice today because they think that their version of Christianity is more important than someone else's version of spirituality. In life, we have moments of time to communicate and articulate what we are in terms of our own choice of faith. As a part of that, we have different aspects of our faith. A pagan person has many definitions, but I prefer to live my life by the pagan federations, the international organization's version of paganism. Paganism is someone who loves a deity, a lord above. Lord God is usually considered mother and father God of all earth, and the pagan is interested in protecting the environment and our natural resources and recycling. A pagan is also someone who values diversity, believes that people have the right to live, love, and have a lifestyle of their own without interference with their original household, their family of origin, family of bloodline, or family of birth. A pagan is also mildly interested in foreign cultures because from those worlds we get version, different versions of the Lord that broke the entire world the entire nation that was once joined together into many different nations, many different races, and many different versions of the Lord. A pagan is also interested in many practices. My practice of faith is one that highly interacts with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, as it is promised us to us throughout most of the Old Testament and the majority of the New Testament of the Living Faith Bible. The truth is there are people like me who are pagan who have still read that situation but are openly available to the Holy Trinity. The Trinity in your life is going to be what makes your life well or unwell and ill-willed. But I don't have to profess to be someone who's Muslim just because I have read the Quran a few times. I have found it interesting. I found it sort of be a disorganized mess most of the time, but it depends on the version and which one is best for you to read. The truth is it's just a different way of looking at our Christian Bible. It's a different version of a lot of the storylines. They have some different language, and openly it shouldn't matter to you if that's not your cup of tea. What I am telling you, though, as a pagan, that I do believe in Shintoism, Buddhism, Confucianism, and there isn't exactly a Mencianism, but there was a Mencius that came after Confucius and even allowed Tzu. I'm also quite familiar with Amaterasu, which is the deity of all Japan. So at this time, you're not going to tell me that I don't have the right to praise the family that I had of choice, which was Japanese. And we celebrated our family and its diversity and its bilingualism and its biculturalism this way. We had Christian Christmas, we had Buddhist New Year's Eve, and we had Shinto New Year's Day. And that's pretty much the Japanese way of a bicultural family that came from America. I cannot speak to anyone who has a bicultural family with Japanese people from New Zealand, Australia, or other marvelous countries that managed to make love liaisons across the, the borderlines. Now, in life, I'm talking about paganism. And Paganism 101 is my version of Paganism. That your job as a spiritual being is to find the book or the work of the Lord that best suits your soul at this moment of time. In three months or six months or eight months or a year, you might have a different version that you need to read to keep the Lord of your heart, the Lord of your life, dear to your spirit and dear to your life.